Hi, another time for the hiking CPA. This time I'm at Greensbrook Falls Trail, and this is a pretty crazy trail. It's now a walk in the park. It has a beautiful waterfall up ahead that I will be including in this video, but it's definitely not. It's a scramble to get up there. It's not a very easy trail at all. It's nothing like a literally walk in Central Park. Nothing like that. So today, like I said, I'm gonna be talking about the come down here as well. You can walk with me for a little bit. I'm talking about the child tax credits. And this has been talked about a lot and something where I want to bring out to everyone and point out that depending upon your circumstance, sorry, I'm kind of looking down as I'm walking, make sure I don't trip over one of these rocks like this. So depending on, on your circumstance, will change how you will hold and see if those advanced credits or not. So to start with, at the very beginning, you they updated the credits. They used to be about 2,000 per, per child, straight out. They've changed it to 3,000 for five and older, and 3,600 for five and under, which is great. You know, we're gonna be getting, those who of us who have kids, like me, we're gonna be getting some of that money we paid in back out of us, which is, you know, a great, wonderful thing. It's something I was, my first thought about, I was super excited about it. I was like, this is going to be great. You know, I'm going to be getting money. This is not unheard of. It's been done multiple, multiple times in other countries where they're trying to encourage people to have kids. They give families incentives and give them money to do it. Uh, other countries are way better than the U.S. at this, but it's a way of combating that depopulation that is happening in places such as, you know, Japan or other countries. So with that, I got excited until kind of started um, looking into it a little more and realized that this is just an advance on the credit. So for many of us where we got a refund of, you know, really 4,000 or more, then this is not going to impact you. You know, you're, you're, you should be good. I'm not going to say it won't definitely. Circumstances will change it, but it should not impact you if you receive, you know, a 4,000 or more refund last year then go ahead, take, your, take the credit, you'll be happy. And you'll be able to have something now rather than later. But if your refund was 4,000 or lower, you might be surprised and come April, you may actually have to pay some taxes back. Just a reminder, the credit is not taxable. You won't be taxed on the money received from this credit. What will happen is that this credit in the past has gone against your taxes that you owed. So let's say for example, you had, you owe $3,000 in taxes after all withholdings are included in everything, okay? And you have two kids, two. That's $4,000 credit in prior years. So you now get a $1,000 refund, woo -hoo! Okay. The problem is now, you gain this credit today, this month, the government's giving you a check. Now, come April, instead of having you still owe four thousand but you received two thousand dollars of it already over the last over the next six months with that we you now will owe a thousand dollars because you take the four thousand you're going to take out the credit the advance credit you received today so it's giving you two thousand dollars against taxes that are owed still so you still have that same three thousand now you have two thousand coming out and you still owe, instead of getting a $1,000 refund, you now owe $1,000. Sad. You know, most of us don't want to owe come, come April. Maybe a little bit, you know, $100, $200 is fine, but you know, a big payment like that, no one really wants that. This is why many, many people are unenrolling from these advanced credits. This is why I unenrolled from it personally, was because last year I had to pay some money in my taxes. Even after care credit, I still had to pay taxes. So I don't want to be stuck paying additional taxes this year when I have to file again. So my suggestion for anyone out there, who created a simple rule of thumb, if you may had a refund last year of more than 4,000, what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead, take the credit, and enjoy this great opportunity you have to receive money ahead of time. If not, and that's exactly what this is, by the way, 
This is literally, they call it advanced child tax credit for a reason. The government's literally advancing you money for, for credit that you're gonna receive come April 2021. But if you receive less than that uh, as a refund, you wanna make sure you go back and unenroll. And again, if you unenroll, what you need to do, especially if you're near filing joint, both of you actually have to unenroll. This is something that I had to learn, seeing that I thought if I unrolled, and unrolled both of us, because we're both on their turn. That it's not true. You both and your spouse need to go and unenroll from this together. And if you do not do that, then the federal government will issue the half of the half for your spouse. And that may mess you up come April. The other thing is when you're going to unenroll, you have two options. One is go through your IRS account. One is to go through another system called Identify Me. I personally don't like the Identify Me. They ask too many questions. The IRS account is simpler and easier to create. I suggest doing the IRS account. It's up to you. Uh, you, you know, this all this information is up to you, <laughs> and for you to choose and what you want to do with it. But just my suggestion is do the IRS account. Simpler, easier. Unenroll as soon as you can, as if you've already received the payments. If you have already unenrolled, congratulations. That's great. Going back to child tax credit really quick. These are the changes that they made. Before, like I said, it was only two thousand dollars. Now they've changed it to two levels. One is for people five and older. They changed that to three thousand a piece. For five, for five and under, it's three thousand six hundred a piece. So now you get a little more for having you know kids under five, because let's face it, they all those diapers and everything else you're going through, you kind of need it. So those are the rules. There's one more rule I do want to mention before I end this hike, at least this portion of the hike, and that is simply the sixty thousand rule for being a filing joint, fifty thousand for those who are head of household, and forty thousand for a single, which is by the way unusual. Usually for a single, it's cut in half, so it's 30,000, but for this, they did 40. And this is the rule. There are under certain circumstances where the child tax credit of $3,000 should actually be reduced even farther down than that. You should not actually be getting that full child tax credit. And under those circumstances, if you make less than 60,000, married, file, and joint, 50,000, head of household, or 40,000 as single, you, you don't have to worry about it. If you've got too much money, they say, Keep it if you made or need that much. If you made more than that, there are, under those circumstances, you will actually have to pay back some of that credit that you got ahead. And again, that's just going to increase your tax liability come April. So to limit that exposure and limit that tax liability, because let's face it, that's all what we we want. Nobody wants to pay more than they have to, and few want to get pay a lot more most of us want to get a small refund at the end of the day and I, that's ideal as a tax center you want to get a small refund that means you can pay too much you can pay too little in but if you get a huge refund you put a lot in let's face it in this case i'd probably be getting a larger refund than having to pay additional money in so that's my recommendation for you go ahead unenroll today i can have that link down below how to unenroll again that simple rule of thumb if your refund is more than 4,000, go ahead, do the stay enrolled in the advance credit. Go ahead, take advantage of it. If it's below, again, my suggestion is get out. Unenroll now while you can, so you can save yourself some headache and some heartache come April when you have an unexpected tax liability. So you can go ahead, reach out to your tax accountant with everything I've said, make sure there are an agreement with it for you and your circumstances at each circumstance will change the answer to this whole should you unenroll or not or go ahead and reach out to me as I am open to new clients and willing to answer any questions that you may have out there. Happy trails.